Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. We have a definite integral from pi over 4 to pi over 3 of the square root of tan theta over sine 2 theta d theta. So pause the video if you want to give it a try. All I ended up doing was rewriting the integrand kind of cleverly and then just a cute little u sub at the end. So I'm just going to jump right in. First things first, I'm going to rewrite everything in terms of sine thetas, cosine thetas, and apply my double angle identity for this sine 2 theta in the denominator. So let's see what unfurls. So keeping our limits of integration, pi over 4 to pi over 3, I have square root of sine theta over cosine theta in the numerator. And then sine 2 theta we can replace with 2 sine theta cosine theta d theta. Good? All right, the integrand's gonna take kind of a lot of work to clean up, so I'm just gonna do it off to the side. That way we don't have to write the whole integral out every single time. A lot of this is just gonna be algebraic manipulation. So I have that one half, let me write that out here. I'm gonna split this radical up in the numerator. So I have rad sine theta over rad cosine theta. And then divided by that sine theta, cosine theta means we're multiplying by 1 over sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, so let's simplify. I notice I can cancel out this rad sine theta with sine theta here. Now be careful. This is to the 1 half power because it's a square root. This is to the first power. So I'm going to be left with, that's right, sine theta to the one-half power in the denominator, so one over that. And then look here, I have square root of cosine theta and cosine theta. Those are both in the denominator. So I'm gonna add the exponents. This is one-half exponent, this is to the first. So then I have one over cosine theta to the three-halves power, okay? And then this cute little one-half is just hanging out, minding its own business. So how are we doing up to here? Okay, the next step is a wee bit funky. So what I did was I multiplied numerator and denominator by another square root of cosine theta or cosine theta to the one half power. And let me show you why I did that, okay? I can group these together now, uh, the cosine theta to the three halves and one half in the denominator. Adding their exponents, I get cosine theta to the four halves which is cosine theta squared. So I have that down here. And then what I'm gonna do next is this cosine theta to the one half and this sine theta to the one half, I'm gonna group them together, okay? I can just write it like this, cosine theta over sine theta and put it all together to the one half and then that other one half is still outside. How are we doing? Okay, now I'm looking ahead. This is going to become secant squared theta. And I'm getting a feeling like, ooh, u sub is going to be good. Can I let u be tan theta and then du would be secant squared theta? That would be so fabulous, but I don't see a tangent theta. Right now, this is cotangent theta at best. So what I'm going to do is actually take the reciprocal of what's inside the parentheses make it a tan theta, and what I have to do is change the sign on the exponent. So if this is something you haven't seen in a while, let me remind you, here's just like an algebraic fact, okay? A divided by B to the negative X is equal to B divided by A to the positive X. So you can change the sign of the exponent anytime you take the reciprocal of what's inside, okay? And then now let me rewrite this. So we have 1 half, this is tangent theta to the negative 1 half and secant squared theta. And this is something now I can integrate for sure. So let me rewrite everything all together from the original integral with our limits of integration and we can proceed. So we have the following now. The limits were from pi over four to pi over three and then I have 1 half tangent theta to the negative 1 half times secant squared theta d theta. Okay, 
So the next step is, that's right, we're gonna let u equal tangent theta, and then du is, oh, so fabulous, secant squared theta d theta, right here, there's du, great. We also need to change our limits of integration, right? These limits belong to theta, but I need to change them so that they're in terms of u. So right here, wherever we decided to let u equal tan theta is how I'm gonna change my limits. u of pi over four is tangent of pi over four. Do you know what that is? One, very good. And then u of pi over three is tangent of pi over three, which is rad three, excellent. Okay, so now let's rewrite our integral all in terms of u. The limits are now one to rad three, one half u to the negative one half du. Woo, we're almost there, home stretch. So now we can go ahead, take the antiderivative. We're gonna add one to this exponent and then divide by the new exponent. And then this little one half just comes along for the right. So we've got one half. Adding one to negative one half makes it a positive one half. Dividing by one half is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal two over one. And then this all gets evaluated from one to rad three. Oh, look how nice. The one half and the two just completely cancel. And then here we're left with rad three to the one half minus one to the one half. Now rad three to the one half, think about it this way, rad three is already three to the one half. Raised to the one half again, we would multiply those exponents. So that's three to the one fourth. 3 to the 1 fourth, that's the same as 4th root of 3, so that's how I'm going to leave my answer. I'll write 4th root of 3 minus 1. Okay, and that concludes the integral of the day. How did you like it? I just thought it was kind of funky. I haven't really played around with integrands in that way, you know, too often. It, it doesn't come up too often, so I thought it would be nice to show. If you can think or you solved it a different way than I did, I would love to hear what your solution was. So leave it in the comments down below. But I, I, I love a good trig integral, you know what I mean? They're so fabulous. So that concludes that. If you need a review of any integration techniques, then check out the videos linked in the description box below. I have hundreds of integrals of the day that I've been doing for over a year now. And I also have full length video lectures on all the topics pretty much that are covered in Calc 1, 2, 3. I even have pre-calc, trig, and then members have access to linear algebra, differential equations, which are part way, not all the way completed, but they're getting there. So thanks so much for your support. I love you all. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V, and I'll be back sooner than later. Bye guys.